Let's go over touch input in Flutter. To add touch input into any widget, you should use the gesture detector. It allows you to handle the tap gesture. To use this, supply the on tap function. You can also handle a long press. This is done by using the on long press function. Now, in addition to those core gestures, we also have the double tap gesture, which can be triggered by supplying the on double tap function. Now, those are the singular touch events, and you can also handle swipe gestures. These are multiple callbacks for each gesture. The down function will be called when the touch happens. The start function is called the first frame the swipe is detected. The update is called during the swipe movement. End is called when the gesture completes and cancelled is called when the gesture is not detected as a swipe anymore. Each of these can be accessed through the on swipe callbacks matching their names. Then there are other common gestures like the pinch to zoom. Here we we also have three callbacks to tell us when it starts, it updates and ends and each of them provide us with the scale details so that we can know what to do with that gesture. The last gesture worth mentioning is the pan gesture. This is for longer multi-directional drag. It has the same five callbacks as the swipe gesture but is meant for longer drag slash drop functionality. Gesture detector can be wrapped around any widget. Try it out and let me know how it goes.